Here we're going to look at examples where we have a big O runtime in log base 2 of n. So here I have code for a function have count, and you can see when n is equal to 1, it returns 0, otherwise it adds 1 to have count, and the input is half as big, so quotient, remember that's just division, and then floor. So similar to Java integer division. So I can call have count uh, with input of 1 is going to give me 0. Uh, with input of 2 is going to give me 1, input of 4 is going to give me 2, input of 8 is going to give me 3, and you might see that for input n, half count is actually just giving me the log base 2 of that value. So I can call log, so log uh, base 2 of 8 in racket is written like that, so it's the log of 8 base 2, uh, and that's 3, or half count 256, that's the same as log base 2 of 256, it's just 8. Conveniently also, the output is also the same, or just one off from the number of times I call have count. So when the have count returned 3, I called have count 4 times. Here when have count returns 8, I actually called have count 9 times. And that off by 1 is because when I ca call have count once, it returns 0. Okay, so we already see this relationship that the big O runtime of have count is log base 2 of n, where n's just my input. But try and write the recurrence relationship for have count. So pause it here and write that. Okay, so assuming you've written the recurrence relationship, I'll write it here. So uh, t when the input is 1 is just going to take one step, and t when the input is n so that's a recurrence call with input of size n. That's going to take one step, plus it's going to make a recursive call with n divided by 2 as the new input. And normally the number of steps and the output of our function are not the same, but here I've designed it so that those are the same. And so we know that this is going to be in O of log base 2 of n. And I want to draw your attention to the fact that, you know, if I change that 1 in my code to a 0, that means my function will just always return 0, so the output will always be 0, but this recurrence relationship would stay the same. Because the recurrence relationship is not about the output of a, the function, it's about how many steps the function is going to take, and specifically how many times am I going to make this recursive call.